my channel or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Here on the Baker's Almanac, I share new videos every week with different baking tips, unique recipes, and just everything in between. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you stay tuned for future videos if you're interested. Today I am really excited to share with you my brand new recipe for cranberry sauce. Growing up, I have to admit I wasn't a cranberry sauce person at Thanksgiving. I was a pretty picky eater when I was younger and so I stuck with the turkey and the sweet potato casserole, of course, but I never would go near the cranberry sauce. But as I've gotten older, it's honestly become my favorite part of Thanksgiving and I can't imagine a meal without it. I know a lot of people will go for the traditional like canned cranberry sauce, but for me, homemade is the only way to go and it's so easy to make. And so let me show you today the way that I make it and a couple little tweaks I add to make it perfect and just a little bit better. So let's hop into the kitchen. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to make this ultimate cranberry sauce and I hope you enjoy and perhaps add it into your Thanksgiving rotation. Start by taking a bag of cranberries, these can be fresh or frozen, and just put them into a medium saucepan. Then I'm going to take half a cup of them and reserve them to the side. We're going to use these later. Add in a quarter cup of water, one cup of granulated sugar, and then you're going to want to zest one lemon into the saucepan. The lemon zest will add a really great flavor and really enhance the cranberries. Please don't mind the cuts in my hand, they are from working in a kitchen. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon each of cinnamon and ground nutmeg. This gives the cranberry sauce a delicious, festive flavor that I love for Thanksgiving. Once that's all in there, heat the entire mixture over medium to low heat and stir occasionally as it continues to cook. You don't want the heat to be too high because it is going to start to bubble up, so you want to keep it a bit lower. Now, the goal for this cranberry sauce is that you want the cranberries to burst, and we're going to see that in a moment. But the entire thing usually takes about 5 to 10 minutes to cook for me, but it depends on the heat that you're using. You are going to see it to start to bubble up just like this, so make sure you keep stirring just to make sure everything is evenly distributed. And as you continue to cook, you're going to notice the mixture start to thicken up. Keep stirring away. And if you notice it bubbling up too much, you can always lower the temperature down a little bit. But once the mixture continues to cook, you are going to notice it develop a kind of jam-like consistency. So here you can see it's coagulating and kind of sticking to the bottom of the pan. This means that you're almost there. And it's really up to personal preference how you like the consistency of your cranberry sauce. I like the cranberries to mostly be burst like this, and this actually looks pretty much perfect. So once I think it looks good to go, what I'm going to do is turn off the heat and then add in those reserved cranberries. They're going to kind of get softer as they're in there, and it's really awesome. Then I'm going to add a pinch of salt just to taste, and this cranberry sauce is good to go. Oh, look how good that looks. So this is cranberry sauce is perfect for Thanksgiving, you can just enjoy it with your turkey or any other Thanksgiving dishes, and I really think adding the spices and the lemon zest elevates the flavor. And that's a wrap. I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make this ultimate cranberry sauce recipe. With the addition of those added spices and just that little lemon zest, it really elevates this recipe and I think you're really going to enjoy it. If you are celebrating Thanksgiving in the upcoming weeks, I wish you an amazing one. I almost said a merry one, but it's not Christmas. <laughs> I wish you the best Thanksgiving, and I know I'm looking forward to spending time with my loved ones and just relaxing a bit, and I wish the same to you as well. If you aren't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below just so you stay tuned for all my future videos. I have lots of fun holiday ones coming for you throughout December, so you're going to want to stay tuned for those. And until then, I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!